Hey guys, this is your workout brief for Friday the 3rd. I had thought the, the support your box workout was going to be announced on Thursday, but it's going to be announced on Friday. So this is your workout for Friday and we'll do the support your box workout on Saturday. Uh, so look for that video tomorrow. Uh, we're going to start with warm up of a minute of single under. So just a jump rope, jumping over the rope for a minute. And then we'll do over, uh, over the fence and under the fence. So that's stepping over that imaginary fence with both feet and then stepping under the fence. So go five in one direction and five back or back and forth five times uh, each. So you get 10 and you'll do another minute of single unders and then you're going to do 10 bootstrap squats. So take a regular squat stance, reach down, grab your toes and then squat down and pick your chest up and drive your knees up Then stand back up, holding your toes, straightening your legs. This will stretch out your hamstrings and give you a good position in the bottom of the squat, loosening up your hips. After you finish that, you'll do a minute of double unders or a minute of double under practice, trying to get that big jump and spinning the rope twice. Then uh, after that, you'll do 10 air squats. So set your feet up underneath your shoulders, send your hips back and down. Looks like that. Once you get that done, we're gonna start to warm up for the weighted dumbbell squats. We're gonna do tempo squats. So you're first gonna start with just a single dumbbell and you can hold it in the front rack position here like a goblet squat. And I want you to do 10 squats at a normal tempo. Once you're done with that, you can grab your second dumbbell and we'll do five squats with the dumbbells on your shoulders. So you'll work that, work through that. You can rest in between these. And then you're gonna do five squats at the tempo that we're prescribing today, which is three seconds down, a three second hold in the bottom, coming up fast, and then a one second reset at the top. So dumbbells up on your shoulders. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Stand up. And so on. So three seconds down, three seconds in the hole. Stand up as fast as you can. And then take a breath and get tight at the top before you do your next rep. So you do five of those. Once you're done with that warm up, we're going to go into the workout, which is going to be alternating between those tempo squats and a plank hold. During the tempo squats, you're going to be uh, squatting for almost a hot whole minute because you've got three seconds down, three seconds in the hole. This is whatever it takes to stand up. And then a second, so that's at least seven seconds. Times eight is 56. So you need a minute to complete those eight squats. If you're done really early, you're counting way too fast. As soon as you're done with the set, the clock will beep and you're gonna hold in a plank for a minute. So that's just gonna be on your forearms, holding that plank, trying to keep your body straight, trying not to stick your butt way up in the air. You'll go back and forth through that for eight rounds, which should be pretty challenging. Then we'll recover a little bit and we'll do a little Metcon, which should take, uh, part B should be like 10 minutes or less. If it's going to be, uh, if you're struggling with your double unders, I want you to pick a number that you can manage to do rather quickly. Or if you're practicing them, you might just practice for 30 seconds per round on the 50s and on the 10s. So, uh, but if you're doing it as we wrote it, you're going to do double unders, 50 reps, then 40, 30, 20, and 10. And then we're going to do glute bridges with a weight. So <clears throat> you can set up a uh, bench or a box and put the dumbbell in your lap and you can lean on the, the bench here and you're going to squeeze your glutes until your hips open up fully and then come back down. So you go for 50 reps and then 40 reps, 20 and 10. If the dumbbell that you have is going to be uh, too hard for you to do that, that volume of reps, that's 150, you could do these on the floor with your hands on the ground and just squeeze your hips up until your, um, till squeeze your butt until your hips are fully straightened. Once that's done, we'll do pigeon stretch for a minute on each side 
That's the foot across, leg out behind you, and you can hang out down on the floor for one minute on each side. And then the hero pose is basically sitting on your, on your butt with your uh, legs out to the side. And if you're really flexible, you could lay down on the floor. I'm not that guy, so I would be leaning back on my hands or maybe getting to my elbows over the course of two minutes. Once you're done with that, take a walk around the block, get some sunshine and fresh air, and uh, wave at your neighbors from six feet away. Um, if you have any questions, let me know I'm available. Otherwise, we'll hit this workout and be ready for whatever CrossFit's thrown us on uh, Saturday. We'll see you guys soon.